Hi guys, it's Linda. And someone had left me a comment one time on, um, I had quoted what warriors, Native American warriors, excuse me, I'm a little hoarse, and I'm in my pajamas, so forgive me, I'm cold, it's rainy here. Um, the, um, I had left a code of conduct that Native Americans follow, and they said, well, soldiers aren't warriors, um, because it was about warriors, and so they, you know, I thought, well, some of them claim to be warriors, but they told me to go look the code of ethics up. So I did, and let me show you what I found, and I'm going to show you some other things I found too. It's kind of, well, I'll tell you in a minute. Hold on. Okay, let me get off. First of all, let's let's go to the. Um, I think this is it. This would be the Army Study Guide. This is the Code of Conduct. I'm an American fighting in the forces which guard my country and our way of life. I am prepared to give my life for their defense. And, and to me that sounds pretty honorable if that's what you were doing. Um, and by no means am I disrespecting anyone in the United States military especially the very young men who should be doing teenage stuff instead of fighting in wars. Um, so my brother was there. Um, I, I'm just giving you their code of conduct, their ethical code. So number two is I will never surrender my own of my own free will. If in command, I will never surrender the members of my command while they still have their means to resist. If I am captured, I will continue to resist by all means applicable. I will make every effort to escape and to aid others to escape. I will accept neither parole nor special favors from the enemy. If I become a prisoner of war, I will keep my fellow prisoners. I will keep faith with my fellow prisoners. I will give no information or take part in any action which might be harmful to my comrades if I am a senior. I will take command. If not, I will obey lawful orders of those appointed over me and will back them up in every way. When questioned, I should be a, if I should become a prisoner of war, I'm required to give my name, rank, serial number, and date of birth. I will evade answering further questions. To the utmost of my ability, I will make no oral or written statement to disloyal to my country and its allies or harmful in their cause. I will never forget that I'm an American fighting for freedom <clears throat> responsible for my actions, dedicated to the pr principle which made, made, made my country free. I will trust in God and in the United States of America. And there's more links you can click on, and, and the more I clicked on, <sighs> a soldier needs to really send me some code of ethics is what I'm saying here. Now, while I was doing this, I thought, let's take a look at Israel's. The idea of... Um, that's the Israel Defense Force, and uh, they have a code of ethics too. And this is the sources come from three fundamental values. The purpose of the IDF is to protect the exist existence of the state of Israel, its independence, and the security of its uh, citizens and residents. Number two, patriotism and loyalty to the state. Ser service of the IDF is based on a patriotism, commitment, devotion, and to the democratic state of Israel and to all its citizens and residents. Human dignity. I don't know if you guys can see this. The IDF and the soldiers are obligated to preserve, preserve human dignity. All human beings are to be valued regardless of race, creed, nationality, gender, status, or role. I'm going to leave these links because I, I did read the rest and it, it was... I mean, right after that, knowing what they've done to the Palestinians, it's like, eh. Um, okay. Let me find, there's another one on here. Oh, the basic rules of the Geneva Convention. Now, I went through these, and um, I do not see where we follow any of these right now. Any of the protocols. So, um... We're guilty. Our our government is guilty. Like, um, Chapter 4 is protection of civilian persons and populations in a time of war. You can go read this. It's it's a long read. I will, I will leave this for you. 
And one more time, I'll give you the, um, oops, sorry. Um, the Native American way. And it's honesty and justice. Be acutely honest throughout your dealings with all people. Believe in justice, not from other people, but from yourself to the true exemplar. There are no shades of gray in the question of honesty and justice. There is only right and wrong. Polite courtesy. A warrior has no reason to be cruel. They do not need to prove that their strength. They do not need to prove their strength. An exemplar is courteous even to his enemies. Without this outward show of respect, we are nothing more than animals. Heroic courage. Rise up above the masses of people who are afraid to act. Hiding like a turtle in a shell is not living at all. A, my, a fighter must have heroic courage. <clears throat> it's absolutely risky. It is dangerous. It is living life completely, fully, wonderfully. Heroic courage is not blind, but it is intelligent and strong. Honor. A true person of honor has only one, to, one judge of honor, and that is him or herself. Decisions you make and how, you dis, how these decisions are carried out are a reflection of whom you truly are. You cannot hide from yourself. Compassion. Through intense training, the fighter becomes quick and strong. He is not as other men. He develops a power that must be used for the good of all. He has compassion. He helps his fellow man at every opportunity. And if an if opportunity does not arise, he goes out of his way to find one. Complete sincerity. When a warrior has said he will perform perform an action it is as good as it is as good as done nothing will stop him from completing what he is, says he will do he does not have to give his word he does not have to give a promise duty and loyalty for the warrior having done something or said something he knows his own he owns that thing he is responsible for it and all the consequences that follow a warrior is immersely loyal to those in his care and to those he is responsible for, he remains fiercely true. Now, I'm going to leave these links for you. And uh, for some reason, in this civilization, the way of the warrior is savage. You understand, by helping those who have been um, injured, even if you're, they're your enemy, um, to take care of other people. Um, so, you know, remember, everything's upside down. And twisted and sideways now so I wanted to leave this just if, if some soldier could send me um, the the real United States military code of ethics I would appreciate it and I will I will compare it to the way of the warrior and this is Linda and um, this is a holiday today it's decoration day or Memorial Day I do not celebrate it I am Native American but I hope all of you are having a very nice day. Like I said, it's windy and cold and rainy here. But um, nevertheless, peace and love. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful day.